But up to this point, there's a lot of people that are questioning why we are doing it this way. Why are we reopening the business or the world, the state, I should say, in phases up to now, though, it's just been business owners that have been the only ones going against the governor's rebound Idaho plan. A Southern Idaho high school was about to join them in their own version of open defiance. Key phrase about to until today. High schools across the country have had to rethink graduation ceremonies and come up with creative ways to celebrate their seniors. No families gathered in gyms or on football fields, and it was all about doing it from a distance. Well, Minico High School was all go, was about to go against those suggestions and was planning on sticking with a traditional graduation ceremony. Gretchen Parsons spoke with Ken Cox, the superintendent of Minidoka County School District, to find out why they changed their mind this afternoon. Brian, Minico High School in Minidoka County was planning for an in-person graduation ceremony inside the school's gym on May 21st. Now, May 21st is during phase two of the governor's reopening plan, which limits gatherings to fewer than 10 people. Minico High School has nearly 200 graduating seniors. A gathering of that size wouldn't be allowed until phase four, which doesn't start until June 13th. Now, I didn't get a chance to find out what safety precautions and social distancing measures would be put in place during the ceremony because Superintendent Ken Cox abruptly canceled our interview today. Cox said another meeting had come up and I asked if maybe the district was rethinking the ceremony and Cox said yes. He said there would be announcement, another announcement about graduation sometime later this week. I also reached out to Idaho Superintendent of Public Instruction, Sherry Ibarra, and sh she said, quote, she can't comment on Minico's graduation ceremony as it was a local decision, and she says, I don't know what factors and precautions went into their plan. She also said, but I do want to commend high schools and districts throughout the state that are coming up with creative ways to honor their graduates and give them a ceremony to remember while adhering to social distancing guidelines. Brian Cox plans to have an announcement later this week about Minico graduation plans, so I'm curious to see what those will entail, and we'll definitely keep you guys updated. There's a lot of people out there, and as you are waiting to see what this is going to entail, there's a whole lot. Everybody's got their own version of what they're going to do going right. forward, and I kind of think that's a big part of this confusion. All right, thanks, Gretchen.